This is an Ellis Mowers and More small engine vlog. Stay connected on Instagram and Facebook at Ellis Mowers and More. Comments or questions? Leave them below or email me, ellis at ellismowers.com. And as always, like and subscribe for more small engine content. On today's mower vlog, we're going to talk about a trade that I ended up getting here. It is a very interesting trade, guys. Um, I got a lot of stuff because I sold a, uh, this is a Husqvarna 125VT backpack blower. Let's start with how I got the backpack blower. So, uh, one of my high school friend's dads reached out and said that um, the mower that they use at his mom's house, um, which is a Husqvarna, uh, a newer Husqvarna actually, uh, wouldn't go into gear for some reason. So, uh, I went out there and checked it out when I was making my rounds through um, Durham like I usually do because Durham's a little ways away from me and got there and all it was was somehow the um, it was a hydrostatic and somehow the engagement or disengagement lever had popped it out of gear so to speak and so it wasn't pulling um, it was a little weird because it was one of them really thin metal ones and so I ended up pushing it in because it had like two clicks i pushed it in one click it wouldn't do anything pushed it in a second click which was almost like putting it inside the um, rear uh, backing plate of the mower and it started working again so he felt bad that uh, i came up came out that way and it ended up being something really simple i was glad that it was i wasn't going to charge them because they've always been great to me i was already out in the area and didn't take any time it's always good to see company uh, or to good to talk to folks that I don't see very often that are, are great company. He said, I'll tell you what, Casey. He said, I'll let you have this. And it was that backpack blower. So uh, he just gave it to me. It, it had been sitting up in storage. He said, I don't know. He said, I know it ran when I put it up in storage. It hasn't been taken out in a while. I brought it home. It was uh, started right there on the first, I think the first of the second pull. And uh, ran great. My dad had a second one exactly like it, made two months apart from each other, both made in like 07. The first one sold to um, a guy um, for asking price. The second one is where this trade comes in. So essentially, no, the one of them I'm selling for my dad, so he's going to get a cut of however I sold, however much money it is uh, that I sold, the one that I sold outright. Either way, I don't have any money in these, except for the trip to go get them. And it's a lot of stuff, so let's go ahead and take a look at it. And really quickly, you can see we're really busy in here uh, with stuff. A lot of stuff is engine out jobs right now. This compression release, that has a Kohler Courage, which I believe is leaking pretty bad from the lower crankshaft seal. And I'm in a struggle to get the... Um, drive pulley off of it so we're in a good you know a good spot there we'll figure out how to do that i've got a continue i'll have a continuation video on that machine coming up it's been a struggle if it wasn't for the engine that thing would be an awesome mower i'm almost at the point of putting another mower an in, another engine on it not quite there yet i want to see if i can save that core courage but here's <laughs> everything that I got for that blower that I had listed for $150. I had to go about 20 minutes away to get this. So not too far in the grand scheme of things. And they all are red. Most of them are parts mowers. There are a couple that are basically complete that I probably will just hopefully only have to do a few little things to. But we'll start we'll start at the back and go forward. Y'all ready? Let's do it. So the first one is it's crazy because I just got rid of like two riders today i've got two more to break down back there and of course i get five so it's like seriously but um y'all know a good trade is good and i didn't want to pass this up because if anything parts are great so this is a 20 horsepower craftsman lt 3000 these always sell well this one appears to be in pretty decent condition of course it's missing the seat um bat or the foam portion of the seat got the deck everything i can tell on the deck looks like it's in pretty good shape it looks like it does need a belt 
um, but the all of this looks good from what I can tell uh, like I said belt is going to be forthcoming on it if it is able to be fixed I have a lot of engines if I just need to pop an engine on this tighten up you know free up some of the stuff on the deck uh, change the seat out this thing will sell all day for like five six hundred bucks um, the red ones especially these three thousands will pull decent money the second one over here is um, a yard machines this one's got actually got the hydrostatic in it which you don't really see that many of them that have the hydrostatic in it so this was a little bit of an upgraded model it's still got the um, engagement lever on the side here we've got a 17 and a half horsepower um, twin Briggs here it's an opposed twin it looks like this one of the spark plugs is out of it uh, fuel lines appear to be off of it as well not sure I have a couple of opposed twins here at the house this one's the three screw um, Walborough carburetor so that's a plus you always want to see the three screws and not the four screws looks like that's the vent line but the inlet line is missing gas tanks missing this is essentially a parts mower but it's got these mud uh, tires on it so they might actually be worth 14570-6 they hold air I might be able to sell them independently for like 10 bucks a piece or something like that um, I won't use them on a mower plus they're the wrong size fittings so but there's a lot of good tires here which is great basically a parts mower no worries this one's basically missing everything except for the hood it's got a good hood on it which is a plus got an exhaust it's missing the engine should have a good transmission thinking about putting a lot of the stuff off of that craftsman as long as the transmission is in good shape i could take a lot of stuff off of the of a black craftsman lt2000 back there that's just a nightmare put it on here and i might have a pretty decent machine it's crazy because i have all these ideas the issue is just the time associated with getting everything done plus custom repairs and stuff coming in i try and get stuff done for years and years and years and it never really materializes but this one here is a rather interesting model this is a um a yard machines but it has a setup like i really haven't seen before i can tell that this engine appears to be look like to have been attempted to be fixed here um it has what looks like a new carburetor on it um, I haven't tried to see if it's got compression or anything. Well, I don't know because there's no spark plug in it. I think you took some parts and stuff out of it, but that's no biggie. Y'all know I got a bunch of little little parts. It almost looks like they tried to put the deck belt and stuff back on and didn't have any success. This one might surprise me, but what's interesting is... We've got uh, this whole setup of this machine is totally different, although it's an MTD. 14 horsepower, 38 inch. But like, here's the blade engagement. Usually they're like that machine two uh, mowers down, right? But here, it's actually on the side, um, and just the whole setup is different. It's kind of odd. I um, haven't really seen anything like this. Uh, much before but we got the forward neutral and reverse over here that seems to be loose so i don't know if it's just not hooked up or yeah it looks like the linkage has been taken off so um like i said if i i saw this one and i said if this one doesn't need much work i've made my money back and then some i've already you know like i said all i've got is the trip to franklinton which is 20 minutes away in this um we'll see um kind of looking looking forward to it the last machine though i didn't know if i was going to get i had he said he may have somebody coming to get it and he was going to give me a wood chipper and a generator in lieu of it but i got it 
and it's a T2400 Craftsman. You can see that it's missing a lot of parts. I do have the seat for it, so that's a plus. It, uh, the engine is gone. I don't have the deck for it, but in terms of like parts, it's pretty solid, especially if the hydrostatic transmission. This is going to be key if um, I get a Husqvarna in with one of them plastic transmissions or any other machine, really. So that's going to be nice. Got a couple keys up there. Um, like I said, I got five riders, frames, whatever, for what the equivalent of $150 would be. So I have maybe, what, $30 in these a piece if you look at the grand scheme of things and just looking at them just really quickly it appears that I could make two of these go with somewhat minimal effort we do have some things to sort out on both of them but we'll get there um, really interesting trade deal though five riders for um, a backpack blower a lower level backpack blower at that so we'll uh, we'll finish this video up now so that's it let me let me know what y'all think about it. Um, it's, uh, you know, I, the cash is always good, but parts mowers are always good too. Some of the parts mowers I have were just trash, and those are the ones that I've gotten out of here. These right here seem to be pretty good. That LT3000, I'm kind of looking forward to working on them. Probably will get to it sooner rather than later. That yard machine's the other one that had the deck to it has a bagger with it too. It don't have the bags for it, but it does have a partial bagger mechanism. And I have a couple of bins out there. I can see if I can make work on it. Uh, we'll end up uh, seeing what we can do there. Like I said, they're gonna be on down the line. I just like to show y'all um, some of the interesting trades that I get why I do trades because sourcing sourcing mowers like when those $50 riders, $100 riders that are in good shape that just need something small, free riders pop up on these marketplace, Craigslist, whatever. I'm not usually ready to just hop in the truck and go get them. Number one, I got all that and then some back there. It ain't like I need any more here. Uh, so I've got plenty to work on and, you know, working on customer repairs and things like that. So we've got, got a lot of moving, moving factors and I really only go get stuff, number one, if, at this point, number one, if it's traded to me or number two, if somebody reaches out to me. So, um, and I haven't had any issue getting machines like that, so it's just kind of the way that it is. Don't really mind it very much. Keeps the numbers down, uh, and I have cleaned out the yard decently here over the past uh, two to three months, pared down a few things. But thank you all again for watching. I'm kind of getting off on a tangent. Let me know about the trades. Would you have done that trade? Um, those five machines a lot of parts on them things um, and supposedly I guess two to three good engines it just kind of depends on what I'm getting myself into uh, we'll find out and y'all find out with me I'll do my best to film all of them thank y'all again for watching I will catch y'all on the next video and thanks as always for the support take care and we'll see you next time